Hi, good morning everyone, it's Madame Eileen. I'm here to show you a fast and easy volcano for line work. Line work means you can make the balloon in less than three minutes. Hopefully only one minute is best. You're gonna definitely need a 260 brow, mocha, or whatever you like, oh, and then a green. I like to do green as the base of the volcano. Have I ever had a balloon request for a volcano that's green? Not really, but I gotta be prepared. There's gonna be a kid out there someday who wants a green volcano. Okay. So I did the pinch twist at the end. I'm gonna do two pinch twists in the middle. And then I'm gonna do a pinch twist at the end. Or should I do two? I haven't decided yet. I think I'm going to go ahead and do two. And now you're going to make a string of pearls. A string of pearls means bubbles. Bubbles back the way you came. And since I decided last minute that I am going to do two pinch twists on each section, there's a two pinch twist there. I'm almost out of balloons, but that's okay. A balloon artist once said, no one ever looks at the back of your balloon, just the front. I'm taking a pin, pushing it through the tip of my balloon and taking it out, creating a little pinhole leak. I'm going to get just a few more bubbles out of this balloon, enough to get me back to the center. So I have something that looks like that. You don't even have to do pinch the bubbles. I'm just sorry, I got fancy. I promised myself I wouldn't get fancy and I did. All right, this is just supposed to be a fast volcano. So I'm angling it. Three pinch twists. Now we're going to go down to the center. This bubble is short because I want the volcano to be angled. If I want a tall volcano, I would make this taller. It's going to be a short volcano. So I go down and I go back up. I find the right angle and I pinch it, push it into that joint of these last two pinch twists, pinch it off, and then go around the pinch twist. That's all you really need. If you want, you can use the rest of this balloon, make it soft. That means the squeeze so the air so it goes out. And it creates this, gets very soft. But that's okay. Go around the top. When the balloons are really soft, it fills in the gap really nicely, as you can see there. Grab the tail here. Push this here. Tuck this down. Jump in. There's the base of the volcano. And now for the top, lava's red. So, get a red. You can inflate it all the way and create a curly cue. Wrap it around two fingers. Curly cues, if you are using a hand inflated device, it's important to pre inflate your balloons. Let the air out so it relaxes. Wrap it around two fingers and let it squiggle down. Really fast, don't do all the little bubbles. Just go back and forth. There's the bubble. There's the volcano snaking down. Lava. Lava comes out the volcano. Twist this around, the pinch twist, and at the top. There's your very fast volcano. Have fun. You could replace this with yellow or orange. 
just whatever you like on your volcano. If you have a little bit of time, you could do this. What if I got goldenrod and orange? And I'm just going to put a little puff of air in it. I really don't mouth inflate. I put a little puff of air in it to make them puffy so they don't lay flat. I was going to cut this, but no. You need the nozzles for anchor points. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use them to anchor around the pinch clip. Come back here to the volcano. And I can go down on the side. Go around and pull it up on that side. Just so you have a little splash of color. And uh, what if I want the lava flowing down and sideways? Depending on how many kids are in line. There you go. It's a nice way to make a quick volcano. You could even take this end. There's always more you can do to a balloon. I'm just going to attach the end back into the pinch this. So it's all spewing out of the balloon, out of the volcano. So there's a fast, easy, simple balloon volcano. Have a happy day twisting. Goodbye.